how to create a smart discount pop-up on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can build a smart discount pop-up on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, what do I mean when I say a smart discount pop-up? Well, a smart discount pop-up is usually those kinds of pop-ups that appear whenever you are opening a new website. They usually have a discount code for like a 10% or 15% on your first order if people choose to subscribe or, you know, enter their email address and be a part of their mailing list. So these kinds of pop-ups can be great ways for you to gather more emails of your potential customers and to be able to later on send them newsletters and updates about your business. Now, how can you add a smart pop-up? Well, I'll show you guys step-by-step, step, so let's follow along. The first thing you have to do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you're on your Shopify dashboard, click on settings on the bottom left. And once you've clicked on settings on the bottom left, you want to click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left as well. Then on the top right, you want to click on the Shopify app store. From here, this will open up the Shopify app store and you want to search for pop-up. So once you search for pop-up over here, there are going to be multiple different applications that allow you to create pop-ups. But the one that I recommend is PopConvert. PopConvert has some of the most easy pop-ups to create where you can build SMS pop-ups, banners, and free shipping bars as well. So I haven't had any issues using PopConvert for the past two years, and I do think it's a great option. You can try out the other ones as well, but Keep in mind that PopConvert is also available for free, so you can fulfill all of your basic needs with PopConvert. Now, you want to click on install over here, and once you click on install, you can get started with the authorization of PopConvert. So this will redirect you to the PopConvert installation page, and over here, you just want to click on install app on the top right. And once you've done that, we will get started with setting up our pop-up. So you will see PopCon will appear on the left panel and you want to pin it over here just to make it easier to access. Now, once you have pinned this, you can get started with getting, you know, creating your first pop-up. So the first thing you have to do is click on your campaigns and in your campaigns, you have pop-up. So you're going to click on pop-up over here and click on create campaign. Now, what is the purpose of this pop-up? Well, this is going to be a new subs pop-up, which is basically going to be to create more customers or, you know, to get emails of more customers. Now, once you've done that, you're going to choose the style of your pop-up. So you guys can see on the top left, you have main styles, you have your background color. Let's say I want this to be a shade of pink. Then I have my main title color, which is black, or let's say I want to convert this to white instead just so it's going to pop a little more. Then you can scroll down over here, go into your text color and customize that as well. And then you have your background image. So if you want a image, you can click on choose a local file and upload your own images as well. So if I want to upload this image or you know any image that you might have, you can add that instead. If I want this one, I can click on open over here and this is actually a GIF so it's going to freeze but you can add any image of your choice. I'm going to leave it as a solid color. And then you have the overlay opacity. So how dark should the opacity be? How much of your website should be shadowed? I like to keep this at a 30 to 36 percent decent amount of opacity. And then the pop-up padding. So I'm going to just set it normally where it's not too much but not too little like this. Then the maximum width of your pop-up, I'm going to make it this large. And then you have the layout. So after that, you're going to choose your hero layout. I don't want the hero layout. I want it to be on the center. On mobile, the pop-up will always appear on top. And then you have your input and button styles. So for my button styles, I want to go for a burgundy kind of theme. So I'm just going to add that. And then the text color is going to be... The text color over here should also be a deep red. And then after I have put in my basic styles, which is the design, I can get started with my content. Now for that, on the left side, you have the content button right below design. And once you click on that, you can edit your text. So join our newsletter. Now I want to create a discount pop-up. So I will add for 10% off your first 
border. Now I am going to remove these lines and I'm going to make this slightly larger and I'm going to make it bold as well like this and I think this is good enough. Join our newsletter for 10% off your first order. I think this looks pretty good for now like this and after this block we have an image which is this image if I want to remove it I can remove it as well I can choose to add another image or just the entire block you can add your own blocks as well but I think I don't want any image I just want to keep it simple so I'm going to click on delete block and then we have the form which has the email let's say I also require names and phone numbers Maybe I only require names and emails and I can put the name on top and the email on the bottom and then I have my join now button. Now after that, if I want to add any other social networks, dividers, images, text, spacers, I can add that. Let's say after a spacer, I might want to add my social networks buttons and then I can include my social networks as well. I can add further text as I want. Then after I've added all of these options, I have my settings on the left side. So you have your time settings, then you also have your GDPR, you also have webhooks as well. Then you have your display settings, so display on all pages. Now let's say I don't want to display it on all pages, maybe I only want to include it on certain pages, such as my home page or something. So I can choose those if I want, but I want to display this on all pages. And then you have your location so you can turn this off if you don't want to uh, give this particular discount to all locations then you can turn this off but i'm gonna leave it on because i want this location to be globally available then you have your conversion so once someone has actually input their name and email in your free pop-up what kind of message should they get so this would be a thank you message or redirect to another url now you're actually going to redirect them to another url or have a close button text so this really depends on the type of um, you know url you're building if you have a thank you message you can just include the 10 percent code over here if you want to if you want to include a code which i'll show you guys how you can build so i'm going to have a thank you message and i'll add that later as well how you're going to input your discount coupon into this message so once you've done that you can click on save on the top right and this will be saved and you can click on real preview to actually be able to preview your pop-up so you guys can see this pop-up just happened now i'll show you guys what happens if i sign up i can click on join now over here and now it doesn't have the discount code because i only subscribed to receive a discount code now you have two ways to go about providing the discount the first thing you can do is you can just go ahead and send the discount to the actual email that you send so when someone registers or signs up you can send them a 10 percent off code in the mail you can do that as well or if you want the discount code to be available on the website so people are more likely to order off of you, then what you want to do is you want to go into your Shopify dashboard and then click on discounts on the left panel. Over here, click on create discount and you are going to choose the amount off products. Then you can add a discount code, which would be generate over here. You can add your own one as well, but you can click on generate random ones. Generating random ones just prevents people from randomly trying to put in discount codes. Then this is going to be a percentage and this is going to be 10%. And this is going to be applied to specific collections i only have one collection so i'm just going to add that and there's going to be no minimum requirement or i can set a minimum requirement then i have all customers or specific customers this is going to be all customers and limit the number of times this discount can be used in total or limit to one per customer you want to make sure to limit it to one per customer and this can be combined with product discounts and shipping discounts now you're going to set your archive date to when this discount is going to start and you can also set an end date if you want now i'm going to make sure i've copied this discount and i'm just going to click on save discount over here now once i've done this what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into pop convert and in pop convert i'm going to open up the campaign or the pop-up campaign i created and i'm going to go into the content and then in your content we also have our display we have our conversion so after our thank you message i'm going to add our discount code is your discount code enjoy shopping 
with us like this. So I've just added this and I'm going to click on save over here. Now, after that, I just wanted to, now once I've done this, I'm going to click on real preview once more, just to take a look at what our pop-up is going to function with now. So if I click on join now over here, you guys can see our discount code is now showing and I can copy this and click on shop along to get started with shopping on my Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.